Hi guys, this is Nathan from Cambridge Auto Sounds. This is a Land Rover Defender and this is the end of day three of three very long days. Um, Nick's just standing through the uh, cabin and I'm gonna talk to him in a minute. Um, it's just playing some music. I will give you a quick explanation of the system because um, this is had another fairly chunky install. Um, all our videos seem to be fairly big installs at the moment. Um, so let me just um, talk you around the system. In fact, I'll, I'll add in the clip um, which I took a few hours ago, which um, shows the system a bit more because we've got all the interior in now. Um, I'll put a video of the finished system as well, but I think I explained it pretty well in the clip a minute ago. Right, what a difference three days make. I know I didn't make a video of the before of this, but we were kind of straight on hitting the ground running. Um, it's a friend's car and initially he uh, optimistically thought we could do it in two days. Um, we're now at the end of the third day two extremely long days and then this we're now at about six o'clock and it's pretty much there just putting the interior back together uh, so what have we got uh hertz three-way front end hertz mille pro speakers the 28th um so slightly larger than the ones that come in the three-way kit so we bought all the speakers individually and we did that because we don't need a crossover because everything's run actively the hertz mille pro three inch uh forget the name now i think it's the 70.3 and the Hertz Miele Pro uh, 165. I forget the finger out of the way of the camera. Um, that's uh, had a hole cut in the seat box. Um, these have all been uh, extremely well sound deadened. Getting the camera all crossed up. Uh, extremely well sound deadened and then uh, closed cell foam over everything. Uh, all recarpeted. I know that looks a little bit messy where it's folded over there, but then these have got corner protectors that go down. Um, they just need modifying slightly to uh, fit around this speaker grill, which the customer's going to do when he gets home. Um, in fact, he wanted to get some metal ones anyway, so he was going to, uh, we haven't put those on, that's why that's just folded over a little bit funny there. Amplifiers. Um, so we've got a Helix M6 uh, DSP. So that's a six channel, 100 watts per channel. It's got a DSP built in. Uh, so that runs the whole system. It's actually a 10 channel DSP, so it runs the six amplified channels and then an additional channel out for the subwoofer. So that's an M1. Uh, that's pushing about 600 uh, watts, uh, two ohms, to the Hertz uh, MPS 10 inch box. So if I show you that from the back, that's a nice shallow mount subwoofer that's then fixed down with, um, with brackets riv nutted into the floor. Um, and then there's your speaker wires that are coming there through through the bulkhead. So that's nice and firm, that's not going anywhere, it's not gonna slide around. Um, how this system sounds, I think we were all kind of impressed and I've not done a Defender before, but the the theory of um, installing all this stuff is the same on all cars, but when you actually kind of put it in, turn it on and it sounds like this, it, it does make you smile and make you realize that all the work that you did in, in sound deadening everything and making sure everything's solidly mounted definitely pays dividends because there was no rattles. It all sounded great. I haven't tuned it yet, but I don't think there's gonna be an awful lot of tuning to do um, to make this uh, really sing. Bit of time alignment, um, flatten everything down, probably turn the tweeters down a little bit and, and take any peaks out of those because they, they sing quite loud. But otherwise, it's a great, great system. And if you've got a Defender, we now really know how to make these sounds uh, sound their best. Um, much nicer than an all-in-one amplifier as well. This package here, these M, M amplifiers, they're great value for money. Done our best with the wiring. That's going to be visible behind the seats. I'll do a little video when everything is actually back in. Um, but it's quite hard to hide wires in this. This is all going to be underneath a cubby. So again, I'll shoot a quick video at the end when it's all back together. And a little bit of uh, music playing. friend Nick it's his car um, so Nick what do you think of the uh, what do you think of the system <laughs> um, I'm blown away by it like uh, I mean I knew it would sound bright because you did the Porsche like I, so I knew what I was sort of expecting from like a, 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 an install but I didn't think that it would sound anything like that I mean it is 
it's deep, it's like, oh, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's far surpassed my, um, and not just the sound, like how far we went with all the carpeting and everything. I just think it's, and the sound deadening, um, I'm looking forward to driving it, not even for the sound system, just for the sound editing as well. So, Was it more work than you were expecting? Because oh, it, like, initially you kind of optimistically said, let's do it in two days. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah like um, I didn't understand, I didn't understand the sound editing as much, like how far we had to go with that. And that is like a lot of interior, well, that's all interior out, carpets up, um, you know, yeah, just all the, li like the little bits, but it makes such a difference. You so know, like, where's your speakers that it came in with, actually? Um, where's the they're in a box. Oh, but... right. it, basically, when it came in, it had... Uh, this well, is the head unit came yeah. in, it came in with. And these... 200 mil. Yeah, these... Uh, no, hundreds. Yeah, yeah two yeah. times hundreds. So as standard, it's got this... Um, this fitment under the dash and that houses a that can house a four inch we've down downed it to, or downsized it to a three inch because now we've got the um six and a half under here it doesn't need the four inch the only reason it needs a four inch there is because that's pretty much the only speaker so you need to get as low a frequency as possible but um we you can still run a four we've we've down downsized it to a three slightly but the transformation from the four just coming in with it. four inches we, we should have filmed, filmed it before it. yeah <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it never really comes across on camera, but hopefully the kind of like talking to someone else and, and the look on people's faces when it's done. Um, so we've now got the tweeters up high on the dash that really lift that sound stage because they were coaxial speakers in this location before and that was just firing down into the ground. Now it's all amplified as well. Ironically, for all that work we've done, the amplifiers, they're tucked behind there. I'm going to just put the camera down very quickly. Very quickly, he says and so this <clears throat> so this was never really designed to be a show install and it kind of it evolved as we went along we we knew we wanted to put the amps behind the seat this is a defender 90 um let me show you the whole car this is a defender 90 go to wide view there we go um so it's a puma 2007 it's one of the very early defender 90s um short wheelbase it hasn't got um, seats in the back hasn't got windows in the back um but it has got obviously this kind of half bulkhead so we decided to put the amps on that part there partly because of the size of the amps we were going for we weren't going for one of the all-in-one amps um this kind of together this gives a much more powerful setup and a much more customizable setup but you need that space to be able to put it if you're working in a 110 or something that hasn't got that space behind the seat we'll need to rethink this configuration and this setup but for the price and for the money um for the time this is um it kind of surpassed my expectations as well actually when i got it all wired in and um and playing for the first time a, a kind of a smile of relief came across my face because um yeah it's it's nice that when you put it all together and it works like that straight out of the box that you've you've done the good job in the back we've got uh prefabricated hertz that's a 10 inch um shallow subwoofer uh in their enclosure it's a nice little nice little unit um we've uh, fixed it down with riv nuts to the floor so it's not going anywhere um and then sound dead and all the floor with um three mil uh roll on kind of bitumen um sound deadening and then a six mil um, closed cell foam. We haven't done these at this point. It's probably gonna to have to come back. This is like a rubberized finish on here. And it already had these uh, boards in the back that were done by a previous owner. Time just ran out. At some point we might end up uh, sound stripping off this rubber, sound deadening, carpeting, and then doing the rest of the, um, the, rest of the sides and possibly the roof lining. But we've spent three very long days on it. Nick's gonna take it home and, and drive it and see what it sounds like um and then report back and hopefully we can um just revisit there's a couple of little trimming issues um like the corners of these they had a plastic uh cover on them but then um i stupidly i didn't realize i had the plastic cover on and we've put the speaker a little bit too close to the edge in reality um so the the plastic covers just need modifying to cut around the speaker that's no problem nick's a bit of a whiz with um with a Dremel or he's going to 3D design and 3D print something. So the next time we see this, that's going to have some lovely corner bits that go around the speaker. And the next one I do, I'll know not to put them quite as close to the edge. Uh, I think that's it from me. Hopefully it will be a short video. Nick, anything else to say other than definitely bring your car to Cambridge Auto Sound? Yeah, definitely. Um... That's all you need to hear, lads. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.